Meet one of the best sounding sets of double second steel pans in the world. These pans are amazing and we're so grateful to Alan Coyle uh, from Coyle Drums who made both Jody's tenor pan and my double second pans. These pans are just masterfully made and beautifully sounding instruments. Traditional steel pans uh, were originally made from 55 gallon oil barrels. Um, nowadays many steel pans are made from new unused oil barrels but the original ones were literally made out of garbage and it's really amazing that people were able to create these beautiful instruments out of stuff that people associated very little value with. Allen's instruments have made some refinements from the old oil barrel design. Oil barrels are 22 inches wide. Coil steel pans are a couple inches wider than that. And what that does is it gives you room to really make each note the exact perfect size that it needs to be, to have a little bit of buffer space in between each note. And it just helps the notes to be very pure sounding very beautifully tuned. In order to get that wider diameter, these instruments are not made from oil barrels, but completely new material uh, with very specific thickness of metal and every detail really taken into great account. And these instruments are just amazing to play. I use these pans on Here Comes the Sun, our Beatles cover on our album. And when I was a teenager, I always thought that any album or concert wasn't really complete unless it contained a Beatles cover. And uh, maybe there's part of me that still believes that. So we did Here Comes the Sun. And to kind of demonstrate the difference between Jody's pan and my pan, um, the double second pans have a little bit of a lower range than the tenor pan, um, which is why I have two barrels instead of one. Because my notes are a little bit lower, they are a little bit bigger and take up more space on the barrel. So we need two barrels to space out almost the exact same number of notes between Jody's tenor pan and my double seconds. But these notes are bigger and take up more space. Now where that comes in handy is being able to have those low notes that can support a melody. So if I play the melody from Here Comes the Sun just by itself, I'm using not my biggest notes, but a lot of the more medium sized notes in the second kind of circle of notes. And then if I add in some harmony on the bigger lower notes, it'll sound something like this. And so you can hear the melody with the harmony underneath it and you have this full rich depth to the sound. 